morning, guys. <laughs> I have you been. I feel like it has been a long time since I've made a YouTube video, and sorry about that. I've just been very, um, I've just been going really hardcore on my Instagram and my blog, and I've been t posting a ton of free little recipe videos and recipes for you guys, I think in the last month. I posted like 15 recipes for you guys, and yeah, I just, I feel like I need to bring it all together, you know, like I can either be super consistent on YouTube or super consistent on Instagram, and now I'm going to try to be super consistent on both for you guys. That's what I'm going to do. So I just woke up this morning, I'm just having some lemon water, and I'm going to go do an ab workout really quick, just like a little 10 minute thing. And before I do that, I'm going to make some breakfast, but I posted on my Instagram stories a few days ago that I wanted to refocus this channel back onto helping you guys lose weight because that is the majority of the reason that people follow me and I really feel so strongly about helping women get out of this yo-yo dieting cycle. I've been there myself. Um, I know how easy it is to look at people on Instagram and YouTube and see like how people eat so so differently and I'm going to be explaining you know why that is why some people can seemingly like eat whatever they want or eat these tiny portions of food and be really slim or even people who can eat like tons and tons of carbs and be really slim I'm not one of those people and <laughs> I wish I also feel like over the years of you know trying to like build muscle and then gaining weight and then doing all these other things and gaining weight and like when I first lost all my weight I didn't stick to the way that I was eating and I gained weight and I feel like I'm just I know so much more than I ever have and it's all the things that I've known forever I just wasn't the best at implementing them long term and a lot of you guys have been saying on like Instagram and stuff that I look leaner than I ever have and healthier than I ever have and I truly think that it's because of just a couple tiny little changes that I've made that I'm going to well I'm going to explain one of them today in this video for you guys so before I get into my breakfast I just want to talk about this a little bit I feel like a lot of people come to a vegan diet or they see um, you know like a whole foods plant-based diet or a high carb low fat diet and they think like as long as I don't eat any fat I'm gonna lose weight and that is a huge misconception <laughs> because it's not true at all I actually gained a lot of weight 30 pounds when I first came to a vegan diet and I was eating like three to four thousand calories worth of carbohydrates a day and yeah, I gained a lot of weight. And truly, I believe that there's only really one core concept that you have to get down and you will have no issues losing or maintaining weight for the rest of your life. And I haven't been, like I said, the best at implementing this. In the last three months, I have been eating like this pretty much all the time, except for a few couple of things. But it's just the idea of calorie density. And I feel like the easiest way for people to implement this is to just eat more vegetables. <laughs> like, it's so simple when you really understand it. But calorie density is basically just the amount of food per pound. So like, I have some more videos going really in depth into this and I'm going to go way more in depth in future videos. But what I've been doing the last four or five months since you know I started that like losing the last 20 pounds, journey which I never kind of gave you guys a completion to it which I'm at the completion of it um, but yeah I lost 20 pounds just implementing eating half of each of my bowls of food as vegetables and that's it that's all that I've done I haven't changed my food on the other side of the plate I haven't you know done any crazy amounts of exercise I haven't done anything differently I've just eaten half of each of my plate as vegetables. I talk about this extensively in my Lean and Clean guide. If you guys have that, you can refer to it. Um, but I do also have a series on YouTube called Eat More, Way Less, where I explain calorie density a lot more in depth. So I'll link those videos below for you guys. And I feel like if you can implement this, you will understand calorie density, you will lose weight, you will feel better, look better, all your health markers will improve everything. Like it's just across the board, so good for you. And the reason is because 
you are lowering the calorie density of your meals by an, a tremendous amount if half of your food is vegetables. So say for example, you have a plate of pasta, whole wheat pasta with like a low fat vegan sauce, totally healthy, but a little bit more calorie dense than you would really want to consume if you were losing weight. You have a pound of pasta, which is I think between 600 and 700 calories per pound, and then you have a pound of vegetables. So if you take that total, you are essentially consuming between 700 and 800 calories. You've just lowered the calorie density of your food from 700 if you were going to solely eat the pasta to about three to 400, which is crazy. And it works so well. It's the most just like simple technique and rule that you can implement into your diet. And I'm really excited because I had this idea to start an eat your vegetables challenge. I asked Chelsea McCullen and Planiful Kiki if they wanted to get involved. If you guys don't follow them on YouTube or Instagram, they are so good at eating <laughs> their vegetables. And Chelsea has lost 40 pounds doing this with no hunger, no calorie counting, no macro counting, like no obsession whatsoever, just eating half of all of her plates as vegetables. And Kiki has lost about 70 pounds. So go follow these girls. We're going to be starting this challenge on Monday, which is June 1st. Sorry, I had to get my phone to see what date it was. So we're gonna be starting this Monday, June 1st. And the only rule in the challenge is to eat every single meal as half whatever food you want. Hopefully it's a whole food, plant-based, healthy food. Um, and the other half as steamed vegetables, as you know, a sauteed vegetables with a low fat sauce, a salad or something like that. So today I'm just gonna do a little what I eat in a day video for you guys and show you how I eat now. It is, it's like not different than how I ate before, but it is way more food and, and um, I have lost a little bit more weight, but I haven't actually weighed myself in a while. I can just kind of notice that through my clothes and through everything, I look a lot leaner. Um, and that's like with no exercise. I wasn't going to the, you know, I was doing like little 10 minute at home workouts. I got into the habit of that and I just started going back to the gym yesterday. So there was just walking my dogs in the morning, doing like gardening and doing like little 10 minute at home workouts, like nothing crazy. And it's just, I mean, what I've noticed since I have started doing this like really hardcore, I don't think I've ever done it this hardcore before. Um, I basically lost the majority of my weight the first time just eating mostly potatoes and beans and things like that. Um, and more like starchy, low calorie dense foods. I've always liked to eat a lot of vegetables and I always have eaten a lot of vegetables, but I've never done the 50-50 plate method for every single meal. And I love it because I love eating a lot of food. I thankfully love vegetables and I like to feel full, but it's great. Like you never ever feel hungry, ever. You don't have to count calories. You don't have to worry about anything. It's the greatest thing in the world, you guys. And I'm telling you, like, if you just take a baby step and try this challenge, you will see a result. And even if you don't clean up the food on the other side of your plate, it will prompt you to want to. Like, you'll see such good results that you'll be like, hmm, maybe I should stop cooking with oil. Maybe I should stop adding so much nut butters and stuff to my food. Or maybe I should get rid of this cheese or whatever it is that you're eating that's extremely calorie dense. So like I said, I am going to go <clears throat> more into this in future videos. But join the challenge if you guys are interested. All you have to do is use the hashtag eat your vegetables. I'm actually gonna create a highlight for this on my Instagram once I talk about it. And I'll just be posting like my meals every day, um, showing you guys like great ways to make vegetables or sneak vegetables into your foods. And then all you guys have to do is just use the hashtag, post your meals on Instagram, and um, we'll, we'll keep up with you guys. We are gonna be doing some giveaways as well. I know Chelsea's gonna be giving away a membership to her weight loss group. I'm gonna be giving away a few copies of my Lean and Clean guide for you guys. And Kiki is gonna be giving away some of her balsamic vinegars that she really likes to use. So you will win prizes if you are part of this. And I just feel like it's such a great way for you to really just grasp the concept of this. Because the biggest thing that people tell me is you eat so much food, I can never eat that much food. Like if I ate that much food, I would gain weight. But you'll see today in today's video, 
The food I eat, it looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot of calories, but it's consistency that matters. And my calories are consistently in the range to maintain my ideal lean trim body weight. All right, so I'm gonna put breakfast in the toaster oven, but first I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. But today we're gonna be making broccoli, cheesy broccoli hash brown bake, and it is so good, you guys. So what I have here is an entire bag of organic broccoli. I have a bag of hash browns and my potato cheese sauce, which I just posted on my Instagram the other day. I will leave the links for all these recipes down below. And then on the side for my vegetables, since there are already broccoli in this recipe, um, I'm still gonna add vegetables to the side of it. That's how much I like to eat volume wise. So I have this really sad looking zucchini that I'm gonna steam. And then I also have just like a quarter of a bag of broccoli. So to make this it is super simple. You can just pour all of this into a baking sheet and just throw it in your oven. But I actually like to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to put my hash browns into this bowl. This is not a big enough bowl. I'm gonna put my hash browns in this bowl. And then I'm gonna add in this broccoli. I think I'm actually gonna chop it up a little bit before I put it in here. So this broccoli here is about two cups, maybe it's three cups, and it's only about 50 to 60 calories. But just the sheer volume that it adds to your food is what we're going for here. And then I'm just going to add in my potato cheese sauce and mix this up. So I like to add in about three quarters of it and stir it up and then add the rest on top. And yeah, like I said, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you go do that. Also follow Planiful Kiki and Chelsea if you wanna be a part of the challenge. But I have been posting so much weight loss inspiration and videos on just like um, meals to eat, like low calorie dense meals to eat. I have put a few like dessert recipes up there too. Um, and that's the thing about this, you guys, like, this isn't like some thing that you have to be perfect, you know? I still eat out. I still, you know, go out to eat, not lately because of the coronavirus, but I still go out to eat and I'll get a Beyond Burger, you know, or whatever, but I have it in the back of my head, like, you know, I should probably get a salad with this Beyond Burger instead of some deep fried fries. But when I'm at home, I eat like this 100% of the time. It's just how I enjoy eating and it helps me keep super slim. So I'm going to put this into the pen and I don't cover this or anything. I just put it into my little oven and I'm gonna pour the rest of this cheese sauce on top and it'll just kind of like sink in as it cooks. So I'm just going to put this in my toaster oven. I'll show you guys, it's actually outside. It's like, so sick of living in this tiny house. But we don't actually have any room to put it. And we wanted to get a toaster oven anyway for the other house because I don't wanna have to use a microwave. Like if I wanna re-cook food, look at my moringa tree, or mulberry tree. I don't wanna have to use a microwave. So I was like, if I'm gonna buy this anyways, I'm just gonna buy it now. I'll show you guys which one I got just because I feel like somebody's gonna ask. This is my first time using it. It's a Cafalon, and I like the fact that it came, it actually came with all these little um, trays that fit in here. So there's like a pizza tray and a bunch of other trays. And then, um, yeah, we can cook like pizza and banana bread and, oh my God. I'll do 50 minutes and then I'll check it. 55 minutes, okay. So anyways, I'm gonna go do a little ab workout and probably like do something with my hair. I have to take these earrings off. I just wanna look pretty for you guys, so I put earrings on today. And I'll show you guys what my breakfast looks like when it's done. It's done. Oh my God, it's so hot. <laughs> All right, so the cheddar broccoli bake is done. It looks phenomenal and I steam my vegetables. This is just a zucchini and then a couple cups of broccoli. And I'm just gonna put that on the side. I'm probably gonna eat a third of this because Derek won't eat it. Well, he would, but I don't want him to eat it. 
Um, so he has corn chowder and other things to eat. So I'm gonna eat a third of that probably and then I'm going to just, I would typically eat that for the rest of the day, but I wanna show you guys some different recipes. So excuse the background noise, but I have some rice noodles cooking for lunch. And then I also have some potatoes that I'm gonna steam afterwards and keep those in the fridge um, just so that I have like easy fries, but I'm gonna plate this up and then we'll go eat lunch. You guys, this looks so good. It's like, can you see that? Look at this. Oh yeah. I mean, would you just like look at that? Yum. This looks so good. I'll leave the recipe to this down in the description box, but ever since I started making this, I eat it all the time. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on here. You know how we do. Try a bite of this. So see how half my plate is vegetables and half is um, hash browns. I actually put this in a chronometer for you guys. This is a lot of food. This is about two and a half pounds of food and it's only 450 calories. That's like, I understand why people are like, I could not eat as much as you because they think that this is like a thousand calories, but it's not. So I just, you know, take a little bit of my veggies, take a little bit of hash browns. This is not going to be a pretty bite. It's going to be a big bite. So I just want to talk to you guys really quick about just some calorie density stuff and um, also some swaps that you can make, like swaps that I made that just help me um, lower the calorie density of my food and things that you might not really realize where you might be going wrong because all of the foods that you know you can eat on a whole foods plant-based diet are healthy, like nuts are healthy, dates are healthy, Ezekiel bread is healthy, but it's just not the greatest thing for weight loss. Obviously, like you can still eat these foods, but for me, like I was eating 10 dates at a time and that's 700 calories and it's not a lot of volume. You can eat about two mandarin oranges for the same amount of volume and it's 70 calories versus 700. So like I still eat dates, but I'll eat like two or three. I just don't eat them in the massive quantities, but the other thing that I swapped for dates was actually um, sweet potatoes, so I just bake them in like, I cut them into little chunks and I bake them and I do dip them in a tiny bit of maple syrup. But the calorie density of that versus dates, so sweet potatoes are about 400, yes, 400, sorry I have notes here, and dates are 1,250. So you can eat a pound of sweet potato for 400 calories or you can eat a pound of dates for 1250 and it's just really easy to eat a lot of dates so usually instead of eating dates for dessert now I just have sweet potato or I will have some other type of fruit like mangoes or mandarins are 250 calories per pound so if you compare that with dates like they're a thousand calories less per pound and it's like if you just want to eat something sweet you might as well eat something that's more satiating than dates which like I said you can still eat these foods I still eat these foods it's not about demonizing foods. These are all healthy foods. The other thing about dates is a lot of people, like when they when I said that people come to the high carb, low fat lifestyle and they think like, as long as I don't eat any fat, I'll lose weight. But it's not true. Like you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. You just have to be. It's like a law of science. Like it, it's like gravity. You can't change it. It's the law of thermodynamics. But you don't have to do that in a way where it's painful. You know, you can eat a meal like this and have a low calorie density meal and be extreme like I'm gonna be extremely full after this and it's delicious it's satisfying it just like marks all the boxes this video is gonna be really long by the way that's why I didn't title it what I eat in a day because I feel like whenever I do that people are like just get to the food like stop talking but I really want to make more informational videos for you guys to really help you understand this so you can quit yo-yo dieting quit calorie counting quit all the bullshit and move on with your life and just eat food till you're satisfied and then move on and like live your life like this is just such a ridiculous diet culture like it but people will come to the high carb low fat diet right and they'll eat a lot of dates and they'll be afraid of like avocados avocados are 650 calories per pound avocados are 1250 
So it's like if you're afraid of eating, you know, some avocado, but you're eating 10, 20 dates every day or drinking Daterade or whatever, like it's just, it's kind of bonkers. But another thing that I did was I exchanged a lot of the tahini based and nut based dressings for avocado. So you'll see later when I make my dinner, I still eat avocado. I like to just take half of an avocado or even like a quarter of an avocado and massage it into my greens and it like distributes it so much better that way. And then I don't have to like have this really, you know, heavy nut based dressing, which there's nothing wrong with nuts. I still eat tahini. I still eat, you know, dessert bars. Like I still eat all these foods, you guys. It's just that 95% of my diet is foods like this. Yeah, try that if you, you know, want to still have salads. Like I can't personally eat salads without some avocado or like a good tahini dressing. And I think that it's more beneficial this is another thing that bugs me. People will like stay away from salads because they don't like them with just like, you know, balsamic or maple syrup and mustard on them. I don't like that either, but it's so much more beneficial to eat a salad. And even if you think about like, say you have a pound of greens and you're using two tablespoons of tahini, which is about 200 calories. You have something here that's 300 calories you know, per pound essentially because you're, the nuts aren't adding a lot of volume, but still like it's still a very low calorie dense meal. It's just that if you're pouring like tahini and cashew sour cream and stuff all over your starches and your beans and your foods that are higher in calories, then you're like really um, increasing the calorie density of that meal. So it's just being more conscious of things. I, yeah, I love salads. I can't not eat salads and I, I'm not going to give up salads and I'm still going to eat a small amount of either tahini or avocado or something like that. So another thing that I was eating a lot of was like avocado toast and peanut butter toast and stuff like that because it's very simple. Um, and even Ezekiel bread, it is 1050 calories per pound. Not a bad food, a very healthy food, a food that I still eat. It's just that when I eat it now, if I have a piece of avocado toast, I have it with like a big salad or a big bowl of steamed vegetables. So instead of eating like toast for breakfast, I'd always just make sure that I have, you know, either hash browns in my fridge or I have some potatoes that I had already pre-steamed. And all I need to do is cut them up, toss them with a little bit of seasonings and throw them in my air fryer. And it's just a very super simple breakfast, but I'm not really, even somebody who like eats a lot of breakfast foods, I more so will just like eat this for breakfast. But for example, like if I have my pancakes, my pancake recipe that you guys see on Instagram, super healthy ingredients, it's oats and bananas. Like, you know, with that, you could eat a side of steamed vegetables, which I know people are probably like, what? But if you get into the habit of it, it's not bad. Like it's not bad at all. And I also even have a recipe video for zucchini oats. Like if you add shredded zucchini into your oatmeal, you won't even taste it and it increases the um, calorie or the volume of your food. So you have a lower calorie density so you can eat a lot more of it. So I'll link that video down below as well. But yeah, it's just about adding vegetables into your meals. And you also, like I do this for every meal, but if you're just kind of getting started, you know, you can maybe add like three or four cups of spinach into your smoothie or just make it make it how it's enjoyable for you for me it would be a lot easier to eat my pancakes but eat a big like steam bowl bowl of steamed broccoli first like it's not like i don't feel that i'm sacrificing anything in that little switch it's just i'm eating a bunch of nutritious volume healthy high volume healthy food before i'm eating something that's a little bit more calorie dense not a big deal. I can still eat the things that I want to eat. Like I said, when I go out to eat, I'll get a Beyond Burger and I'll get a sa side salad and I'll eat the salad and then I'll eat the Beyond Burger and it's like, whatever. I can still eat the foods that I want. So anyways, I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I will see you guys for lunch. All right guys, so we're gonna make lunch. I wanted to just weigh out a pound of vegetables so you guys could see what it looks like. This is a pound of vegetables. So a pound is about 450 grams. And then I have four ounces, Dewey has to drink water the second that I start filming. I have four ounces of rice noodles. So a little hack for you guys is to cook rice noodles in bulk, and then you can keep them in your fridge just in a little bit of water. And then whenever you wanna use them, you just drain them and they're already cooked and you can like throw them into dishes and stuff. 
So I'm gonna cook these veggies in just a little bit of probably coconut aminos or soy sauce with some garlic powder and then we're gonna make a Korean gochujang sauce for this. But for the veggies, I have a half of a chopped carrot, a bunch of this frozen like mushroom mix, um, a head of baby bok choy. I also have a bunch of um, broccolini in here and then some scallions and I think, yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm just gonna make a super simple sauce with a tablespoon of gochujang and a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to that and that's gonna be the sauce for my veggies and noodles. All right guys, so here is my lunch. As you can see, it's a big bowl and it's very heavy. It's probably gonna take me quite a while to eat it. Um, it's about five hours after I had breakfast, so that's how long I stayed full for from the hash browns and the broccoli. But yeah, I'll see you guys for dinner. I'm gonna go eat this and probably start editing this video too. Alright guys, so for dinner, I'm going to make a big salad, probably use like four or five cups of just a spring mix, and then I'm just going to massage into that. Um, the rest of this avocado, there's like a little bit more than half. I'm going to put some lemon juice on there as well, a little bit of garlic powder and coconut aminos, and if you just massage that into the greens, it's so good. It's my favorite way to eat greens these days, it's just... Every little bit of green gets like covered with avocado. So good. And then I have these potatoes that I pre-steamed, oh hey Dewey, in the Instant Pot and they were just been in the fridge. I'm gonna cut these up into, probably not all these, maybe half, um, into little potato wedges. I like to use this classic buffalo seasoning. I just found this stuff and it's so good. It's like all natural, vegan. It's just a really good seasoning blend and just eat that on top of my salad. It's like one of my favorite meals, just having crispy air fried potatoes on top of an avocado massaged green salad. Mm. But I'm probably just gonna put music over this and say good night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any other topics that you want me to cover. I know this is a really long video, so if you hung in there the whole time, I, I appreciate you. <laughs> And um, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram, join the Eat Your Veg challenge, and it's gonna be great. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.